My name is uh, Bradley Starr. My traditional Heisler name is Waxistala, which means the ring around, ring around the sun. I own uh, Blackfish Gallery here in Kinema Village. I am an artist. I carve, carve uh, wood. I am actually working on getting into jewelry, and I've been doing this for 25 years. A buddy of mine told me, why don't you learn to carve? And I picked up a knife and it was just something that seemed that was natural for me. Well, the salmon is the tribe, a clan that I belong to. My mom was a, belonged to the fish clan. And um, I did think I was going to grow up to be a commercial fisherman where I, I did um, fishing because my dad was from Clem too, it was along the coast. It was a fishing com community, and but the industry sort of collapsed in the late 60s. So my dad moved here to Kitimat, went to work in Alcan. I went to the prairies and worked in the oil fields for a while. And back to Vancouver, and now I am did a complete circle where I'm back home in Kitimat doing something I love, and, and that's carving. Well, the salmon is important to our people because it um, it actually feeds us, and um, not not just us as humans, but all living creatures like the bears, the wolves, and um, I do have a carving of a crane, and the salmon is so important that I do a lot of my work around the salmon and how important it is to every living species in our territory. Look at our river here, the Kitimat River. You know, we used to get huge um, chum salmon come into our territory and and, um, and the heads on them were like that. You, you know, nowadays you don't see it. You, you know, the, the fish isn't as plentiful because of uh, mismanagement, the overfishing and um, I, I don't know, it's a change in the environment, uh, like global warming and stuff like that. It's not coming back and we're losing that way of life. And it, it, it's so important to to protect our salmon, our rivers and, um, you know, to look at, um, you know, what do we need to do in order to survive? A, a lot of our younger generation don't grow up on salmon like the way I did. You know, we ate salmon for lunch, salmon for dinner, salmon for a snack. And it's not like that anymore. It's it's like it's it's like a treat when you move to the city. You don't have it's not plentiful anymore. And, and it's you know like the only time you have like a nice salmon dinner is when you have a special occasion coming around now because it's getting so scarce and so expensive. This one here, I had, um, I had um, started and it, it basically shows the salmon in the beginning. And it, it's a really nice, strong, bold blue and it's a silvery color. Uh, and that's the youth. As it gets older, it starts getting more like a reddish color and like me the older I get the gray starts coming in and it spawns and it's completed its circle of life I like doing like like the salmon with a male and female together and it basically showing the circle of life I was gonna do this but I wanted to do the three stages of a salmon and how it is in our in our in the short life it lives, and it fights and fights and fights and it doesn't give up until it has done its job, where it's reproducing. And that's a big part of it um, is the storytelling and keeping us alive. You know, doing something that was um, forbidden years ago, and we're expressing freely. And um, a lot of the stories that, um, a lot of the pieces I carve are my own rendition of the art and it's contemporary. 
how do you say it? it? It's traditional and contemporary mixed together. But I share a lot of my stories with the uh, with how important everything is to our people. 